Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is my top 50 mistakes that independent small restaurants make. Uh, I'm so passionate about this. I am a chef. I'm a restaurateur, more importantly. Um, I have a successful business in the Hudson Valley in upstate New York. Uh, so I just want to share everything I've learned, everything that I've learned from other people, help other restaurants become a success as well. So, number eight, we talked about the previous steps, we're talking about getting a database and building a database and how to work your database and how often to communicate and what do you say and what kind of offers do you give and this and that. Well, today, I'm going to talk specifically about once everybody's in your database and you're sending offers to people and you have a history, let's say it's a three-month history, a six-month, even a year history. I have a several, several year history on, on my loyalty program. The main thing is you want to reward the people who come in the most. Those are the people who get the highest awards, rewards, or benefits back to them. That's what a, royal, a royalty or loyalty program is. About. The awesome thing about this is all of my customers are segregated into three groups. Platinum, gold, silver, bronze, or you can separate in that many groups you want. But of course the people who come in the most are going to get the best offers. So for instance, the people who are my top hundred or top 250, however you want to separate it out, or to spend a certain amount, those are the people who are going to get the most value for their birthday entree. We give a free birthday entree, so I give $18 to my highest tier. Then I give 15, then I give 12, and I go as low as 10 or whatever. So I can segregate, so if you, the more the customer comes in, the guest comes in, you want to reward them the most. They mean the most to you. And this is simple business practices. And I can help you set up all these kinds of things and run numbers and see who your best customers are. A lot of times you don't realize, restaurateurs don't realize, that the guy sitting at the end of the bar that has an order of chicken wings and a beer every day, just because he's there doing a very small exchange, a small ticket price, you might not realize that he is one of your best customers as opposed to somebody who comes in and buys a $200 bottle of wine you know, once every six months and has a nice dinner and entertains four to six people. Those are nice customers to have, but you really want to reward the people who give you the most to keep them coming back and back and back the most. It's a simple equation. I'd be happy to help anybody get set this up. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thank you for watching.